Today we're going to talk about why don't we have to go to Mass? Before we start talking about the moral life at all, we have to go back first to Jesus encountering the rich young man. That's Matthew 19, 16 through 30. In it, the rich young man asks, Teacher, what good must I do to inherit eternal life? And in that, we see there are three key terms. Eternal life, which is to say happiness. So this isn't just an abstract question. The good, which is the moral life. That is, somehow this man has an intuition that being happy and the choices that he makes, those are related. Finally, teacher. And as we discover, as Jesus asks this man eventually to do something that he is morally incapable of doing, that it's only in a relationship with Jesus that we receive the grace to do what the Holy Spirit is asking of us in the present moment so that we can do the good for eternal life. So morality is about ultimately being happy and it's in no way about limiting our fun. So what does going to Mass have to do with my being happy? Part of doing the good for eternal life is our obligation to go to Sunday Mass. Now, what happens at Mass? In the Mass, we enter into the one sacrifice of Calvary in which Jesus is offering himself to the Father and we get to enter into that sacrifice and that giving glory to God. So why should I come to Mass? Two reasons. The worship of God and the sanctification of man. That is, we give worship to God and we, in doing that, are sanctified. And if you're in a state of grace, you get to receive the greatest gift you could possibly receive here on this earth, which is the gift of Jesus himself in Holy Communion. If I told you that you would get a billion dollars by coming to a building every week for one hour, would you do it? Regardless of what you had to do in that building. And yet, the grace that God is offering us in the Mass to be able to join in Jesus' giving worship to the Father and being present at Calvary as he's dying for us so that we can be sanctified in this way that God asked us to worship him. That's far greater than the billion dollars. God commanded that we come to Mass. And Jesus saying in the upper room, do this in memory of me. And also in God in the Ten Commandments saying, keep holy the Sabbath day. It's important enough that the church spells out the obligation to go to Mass as being one of the five precepts of the church, which details the minimum required amount of moral effort to be a Catholic in good standing. In the Catechism, paragraph 2172, the church says that Sunday is the day of protest against the servitude of work and the worship of money. So in other words, if there's something that's more important to us than going to church on Sunday to worship God, then that thing is an idol. And that is not in any way trying to limit our fun. It's actually very freeing that I have very clear boundaries on how I need to use my time. The church says that missing mass on a Sunday or holy day of obligation is grave matter, which is one of the three ingredients to commit a mortal sin. So remember, a mortal sin happens when we do something that is grave matter, which the church defines, with sufficient consent of the will and with sufficient knowledge. In other words, we knew it was wrong and we did it anyway. If all three of those ingredients are present, then we have committed a mortal sin. And the bottom line for why that's important is if we die in mortal sin, we go to hell. That's not a popular thing to say, but the church does very clearly teach that there is a hell and that there are people who go there. Jesus is waiting in the sacrament of confession with open arms to receive us into his mercy. And he so longs to encounter us there. 
So apart from being sick and a few other circumstances in which through no fault of our own, we're not able to get to mass, if we willingly choose other things above going to mass on Sundays and holy days of obligation, that is a grave sin on our part. The sad truth is that live streaming mass doesn't count as attending mass. It does not fulfill our Sunday obligation. Our sacraments are incarnational. That is, Jesus came to us not virtually, but he actually took flesh and became one of us. You are a soul body person. That is, if you do things with your body, it affects your spirit. The bodily gestures, kneeling, standing, matter. Being side by side with other people who are also offering worship to God in union with the priest and Jesus present in the priest matters. So those are some of the reasons for why Mass on Sundays and Holy Days of Obligation is part of the good we do for eternal life. This is Dan Fitzgerald from St. John the Beloved. I'll see you at the altar.